these paper rolls are so tightly wrapped, it takes a year to open them. Uh, let's see here. Starting out with 07. No fanfare there. 91, 86, there's 81. 72D. Oh, there's 98. Pull that one aside. 92D. I think I've gone through uh, several thousand 92Ds and not found a cam. And that's understandable. A close AM92, I think the last one sold for around $6,000. There's a 77. But, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. If you don't look at them, you're definitely going to miss it. You'll be no better than the guy that's passed through them in his pocket change and re-spent it elsewhere and not know that he had an amazing coin in his hand or his pocket. So I'll check that 98 here momentarily. But we're just going through a little swath of zincs here. 74. There's a 79. 82 zinc. There's a 95 I'll put aside. Maybe there's a double die in that one. I'll go through a box and then the coins I pull aside, 73S. I'll take a look at them all in one shot. I'll go back to back on it. And you know, I'll do a little recap video at the end. Uh, I'll probably end up going through half this box with you guys. And I'll just go through the rest without videotaping it because it's this is kind of daunting and arduous. If it's not silver, it's boring, right? <laughs> Let's go take a look at this 88 from the last box. Nope, close AM. There's 99D. Typically, if a coin is way too damaged, it's not going to be worth keeping on to, on to something with a uh, variety. Unless you just really want to have an example of that variety. Okay, 2008. 79. Okay, 97, 2012. Uh, what do you guys think of the new design reverse on the... Uh, the newer pennies. They definitely look a little bit retro, but I'm not a huge fan of them. I I don't think the, the Mint tried hard enough to design something that was current, up-to-date, and aesthetically pleasing. Let's see, 88D, I'll pull that one to the side to see if we have a transitional uh, reverse on there. 74, that's copper. Uh, 98D. 99, 96. Uh, it's a zinc. Yep. Zinc, 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 all the way. Okay. We'll do one more roll and then uh, I'll go ahead and stop this, this part of the video. And I think we'll do one more um, 15 minute bracket video and whatever I have left. Uh, I'll work on these last 10 or so rolls and this complete box here. I, I'm just not going to videotape that on this session. Um, you know, probably to help spare you guys some time on your weekend. I'm sure on a Saturday this is the last thing you'd like to see. Um, that says 79. 64 and the coppers I'll go through again at one point and just you know double check the varieties because the 64s and the 1980s I just throw in there okay nothing great 92d best of luck on that one of course uh, there's another 92d if I found a 92d you'll hear it ah uh, yes that is copper it's an 82 yeah, this roll is lacking for copper. Still no weed scents. Alright, what do we got here? 69D. That one's in great shape. 
So I'll put that one aside and see if we got a missing initials reverse. Yeah, the missing initials on those, I found quite a few of them. But there are some out there where you can barely see a little bit of a bump where the initial should be. Those do not count as a missing initial variety. So we'll do one more roll here. Oh yeah, 82. That one is copper. Uh, what did I just throw in there? 95D. Put that one aside. Again, um, the reference photos for all of these varieties can be found online through the websites that I highlighted in video one of this. So I found an 82, but it struck off center ever so slightly. It's interesting, but nothing I'd probably keep because it's maybe a 1% shift and off center. 74, 72D. Oh, what do we found? 95. I'll pull that on the side. So that's 74. And we'll finish this roll, and then we'll uh, we'll cut the film, and uh, I'll do one more long video for you guys. It's 79, uh, 69D. Pull down the side, see if we have the no initial reverse. 77. So, what do you think they do if? Uh, Government decides to stop the penny for the U.S. the same way that Canada did for theirs. Uh, as far as I know, the pennies are kind of hard to find up there now. Banks don't carry them, but they'll take them. <laughs> and then they'll ship them off. Back to the Royal Canadian Mint, and they'll all be melted. Can you imagine some of the key dates are getting mel mel melted right now? Uh, so, let's see. Nothing uber fancy in this one that's for sure I think I'm falling underneath the 20 percent copper to zinc ratio here uh, there you go so uh, we have about oh, let's see here 18 rolls left somewhere around there maybe a little bit more no that's more than that yeah, let's see uh, 22 rolls left so we're going to cut the video, and I'm going to do one more. That's going to be a part three and the final. And then right after that, at the very end, uh, which will be much later, I'm going to do a recap video on any interesting finds, some takeaways, and, uh, you know... It